Okafor and you are watching OC's Tech Tips. In today's tutorial, you're going to be watching how to use GarageBand to add a drum track using the artificial intelligence drummer. You're also going to be learning how to add a bass line using autoplay. Let's get straight into it. Okay, first of all, you would open GarageBand. Once you've opened GarageBand, you'll be able to scroll through and see the different instruments to choose from. So you'll have a keyboard, you have external, you have a drummer, which we're going to come to soon, world instruments, guitars, bass guitars, string instruments. You'll be able to record in your voice as well as connect instruments. You've got the smart drummer, you've got the smart keyboard, and of course what we're going to be looking at today is the artificial intelligence drummer. So once you've clicked on that you will see that it loads up with Kyle as the default and he's playing a half pipe style. What I'm doing now is I'm setting the length of the track or length of this section to automatic so that I'm not restricted to just the eight bars. Now I'm going to press play and you can hear Kyle is playing and the time signature is in 4-4. The tempo has been set possibly at 120. I'm not sure, I haven't checked. But you can use the pad on the left to change the style of playing from soft to loud and from complex to simple. So you can play around with that and see what suits your style. Also, you can change the style that Kyle is playing with by flicking through the options next to his name. So we've got Golden State, Echo Park, Crash the Party, etc. So you would check those sounds until you are happy with what you hear. If you wanted to change the drummer, you would click on Kyle and you have eight other drummers to select from and they all play in different styles using either electric drum kits or live drum kits. Once you've chosen a drummer, there's a small description of the style that they play in. And if you choose one that you're happy with, then you can play around with the settings within that specific drummer. So in this tutorial, I've chosen Leia. Okay, Leia or Leah, whichever way. Whether you're a Star Wars fan or not, or depending on which way you say the name. So with Leia, she has the default of after hours. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. So I'm gonna go out into my track view and I'm going to press the plus to add a new instrument. So I'm going to add a bass guitar. So I click on bass. Okay, so once you've selected the bass, you will have the Liverpool bass as the default bass guitar. You can always change that if you want to. And you can pluck the strings along to your drum track. But for now, we're gonna utilize the autoplay mode. So by just clicking on the different letters of the notes, it will play a specific melody. Now you can see at the top, underneath, above autoplay, it says one, two, three, and four, and there are four different options and styles of the way the bass is played. So you would choose a style that you feel is suitable for the drum track that you've selected. Go ahead and play around with that until you find something you like.
Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please be sure to check out the next video and subscribe and click like if you've enjoyed it. And don't forget to leave a comment if you'd like a specific tutorial on another topic. I'm OC Edgefort and you've been watching OC's Tech Tips.